Hey Drop, welcome to Horsehead Bookend for another Gaming Friday, but on a Saturday. Okay, so today I don't have an unboxing for you, I do not have a playthrough and review. What I want to do is I want to start a discussion. If you've watched my other videos, you know I recently moved, so that means I had to pack up all these games behind me and all the games in my office, which I'll show you in a second. And it got me thinking, when is it too much? And I think we're starting to hit this board game glut, I would call it. Whereas all these new games are coming out, uh, multiple games a month, and for me personally, I feel that I'm not having the time to play all these great games because the entire market is getting flooded. Now, one thing, I don't consider myself a collector. I do not try to collect board games. I want to buy them to play them, but if you are a collector and you need to have all these titles from this publisher or, or this is your favorite designer, uh, hey, that's great. That's awesome. Uh, there's other things I collect, but board games isn't one of them. When I was getting, when I was moving and I was packing up all of my games, it uh, occurred to me that, you know what, I, I think I have too many games. There are games that I haven't played in, in, in months. In, in months and, and, and I kept thinking, well, why, why do I still have them? And it, it was hard. I mean, I don't have any good tips for moving a large game collection. I was fortunate enough to be able to get into my new house while I still had my old house, so I would just make multiple trips over uh, and, and just load them up in my car. I, I did ask for some help on, on different Facebook groups and Board Game Geek about what is the best way to pack up games for a move? And I got some great information about uh, putting them into boxes, making sure that uh, there's enough uh, protection for them. Because uh, I mean, moving companies are going to try to take care of your stuff, but then again, it's it's not there. So boxes might get banged around uh, by accident. Sometimes, if a box gets caught on something, it, it might tear a hole in in the cardboard box, which actually did happen to one of my boxes. It didn't have board games in it. It had some. I I think uh, video games but uh, because I had a good amount of bubble wrap protecting them the giant tear at the bottom of the box didn't affect any of the contents inside back to packing up for the move I was going through my games and and I, I, there was just too much I, I just had way too much so I, I sold a bunch of games that I wasn't playing anymore I gave some games away and even though I didn't like doing this, I wound up throwing some games right into a garbage dumpster just because they were ones that I couldn't give away, I couldn't sell. And it was sad, but it made me realize that, and, and that's when the whole question came about, when is it too much? When do you have too many games, whereas they look pretty on your shelf, but they never really hit the table, you never played them, and at once, they might have been one of your favorite games, and now it's you never play it or uh, you never have a desire to play it. I made a promise to myself I was not going to back any Kickstarter games at all this year anymore since the move. I don't think I backed anything, but uh, I think there are some companies that are making it very hard. I think Awaken Realms announced something new soon uh, that, that Mike told me about and it made me very upset that it was something that I might have to back because I, I really enjoy their games. But I, I've made it a point to try to play the games I haven't really touched or haven't hit the table much that I really enjoyed uh, and I want to spend time with them because a lot of these games that you see on the shelf and, and we'll go through it, there's so much game there that you don't even get a chance to touch on it because you maybe get to the table once or twice and then all of a sudden the next new thing comes out that you get and you start playing that. But another question that came up was, what is this brand new thing doing that's nothing like the older games? Is it just, let's say, rules enhancement, piece enhancement, like you get a better meeple or you get a better, better miniature, but it's not making the gameplay more enjoyable? And I think people talk about the cult of the new, 
um, which, I, I mean, me personally, I try not to hop on that bandwagon. Just because it's new doesn't mean I need it for my collection. I try to take a step back and see, well, what's different? What's changed? Do I have a game that is exactly the same, but a different theme maybe? Do I really need it? Again, because I, I don't want to collect board games. I, I want to have them. I want to play them. I'm going to show you the games behind me, and I'll show you the ones that I have in my office. And I even have more in the garage that are still in a box because I haven't kind of incorporated them into my shelves right now. But I've tried to narrow it down to the games that I really enjoy or the games that I really want to play more that have a lot of game to them. And uh, they're the ones I really want to focus on before I start getting uh, new games. And I, I do have a lot more coming in this year from Kickstarter. So we'll see, uh, we'll see how that happens. So let's go, uh, let's go take a look. All right, so here's some of the shit games behind me. Like Chronicles of Junagor just got that. It's a lot of game. Um, still reading the instruction, haven't got it to the table yet, but it's, uh, it's something I wanna uh, play. Uh, we move over, uh, Dark Tower, Catacombs again, a lot of game, a whole lot of game in there. We also have, oh, there we have Toofy Spooter. It's still up on, on the wall. Uh, Nemesis, which is down on the wall. We'll see that. Fireball Island, that's fun. My son likes that. And then we just have some battle maps. Uh, again, Too Many Bones. Huge game. Lots of lore. Lots of stuff going on. Feudum, big game. Uh, Kia, big game. Kanban and On Mars. They're both pretty heavy games. There's a lot of game there. And I think there's a, an expansion coming to On Mars. I'm really gonna play it? I don't know. I mean, I, I played on Mars a lot, but I still want to play just the base game. Over Anachrony, huge game, tons of stuff. Haven't even touched the extra stuff. Uh, Dune is Dune. It's that's just that's not too big. Um, Tracarian, lots of game there. Still haven't got into all the expansions. Brass. Oh, Black Rose Wars. We'll see that in a second. Nemesis again. Huge game. Lots of game there. There's so much. And then we have Mr. T, but looking behind there, Lords of Hellas. Again, Awakened Realms. Lots of game. Haven't even touched on all the stuff. Then we move over. Cerebria. Big game. Not This is a good game. Uh, still would want to play more. Terraforming Mars. So much game there. Still haven't got a chance to, to play everything. Dwellings of Evervale. Great game. Lots of stuff. Haven't got to play it. Vindication, I've played that plenty. That's a great game. Uh, and right down there, Seventh Continent. Game is enormous. I've not even scratched the surface on, on that game. Again, with Gloomhaven above it. And then you get down to, um, well, you got Gloomhaven down there. I've only done maybe three or four scenarios, and that's huge. And Frosthaven is coming out. So... And then Black Rose Wars, tons and tons of content in that too. Uh, even with the Seder box from Kickstarter. So, so what you're looking at, like there's, I, there's so much game in the games I have. Is it necessary to get more games? Let's go take a look in the office. We're in, the, we're in my office now and I have games in the closet. And uh, we got the DD Adventure System games. Tomb Annihilation, still sealed. Above that, an expansion to Arkham Horror, still sealed. Haven't had a chance to play it. Um, a lot of game in all these. I mostly use these for D&D campaigns. Not necessarily the game that comes in the box. Uh, next to that, Dark Souls. Haven't even touched on some of the expansions. Uh, over here, Massive Darkness. I have everything for Massive Darkness. These are all still sealed because I'm still playing the main campaign. This is, there's a ton of game, and Massive Darkness 2 is coming out. Uh, so then we have, uh, well, these, Snowdonia, uh, Deluxe Master Set, there's so much content in there. Still haven't gotten through uh, all of it. There's, there's tons of expansions. Uh, Dynagenics, there's just, they put out, I think I did a uh, unboxing of an expansion. Haven't even tried it yet. But as we move down here, there's Dark Souls. Haven't touched that. You got Arkham Horror. Now, Arkham Horror has a ton of expansions to it. And there's one right there that I haven't e even opened. So again, when is when's it too much? Again, all these games. E D6. I haven't even... I've played it a bunch of times. But there's still so much more game. 
and I think another expansion is coming out. Is there too much game available right now? All right, so there were some of the games in my collection that I, I really enjoy and I want to get to the table more, but again, there's just there's so much. So I, so that that's the question I ask of you. When do you feel that there are too many games? There is too much, and you're not getting a chance to play what you have. And I, I, I guarantee some of you are going to say, well, it's never too much. I, I want them all. And that's not a wrong answer. That's fine. I think for me personally, I start to get a little anxious when I have too, too many. And it's, it, 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 I mean, you get that, oh, well, I, I don't know what I want to play. I'm just going to look at my games for a little while and then maybe decide not to play anything at all. Let me know in the comments uh, what you feel about this this board game glut that seems to be going on uh, now. Is it too much? Is it not enough? Are we, is there something missing? Like are there, is there not a game that should be coming out that that isn't? Or is there a mechanic that's underrepresented in, in the, the gaming um, community? But definitely let me know below and we will start a conversation on that. So if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please don't forget to click on subscribe or the notification bell. You'll get notified anytime I upload a video. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Otherwise, talk to you later.